I think this is not uh, the first time China have uh, property uh, issues or crisis. In the past, the government can uh, invest more in the property to generate a V-shaped recovery. However, uh, given the success in urbanization, home ownership are already high, household debt to uh, GDP or disposable income is also at very high levels. So that will actually uh, cap the upside you could come uh, from growth in the property sector. On the other hand, as property is a significant part of the GDP, uncontrollable slowdown of it will cause uh, problems to consumption as well as uh, impact to the financial systems. So the government need to make sure that to, to control the downside support of the property sector and in that case that uh, can stabilize the uh, economy, uh, stabilize the confidence of the household and, and the business community and the economy can normalize from there. There are a few aspects. I think uh, from the secular growth driver perspective, we continue to see uh, innovation-driven growth stories in industrial marketplace, moving up the value chains uh, along the way. Uh, continuing the stories we have seen in the NEV, in IT, in alternative energy uh, in the past few years. There will be sector rotation uh, there, but uh, we do believe that uh, understanding the, the market, understanding the industries better, uh, will make uh, market volatility more an opportunity than investing in these sectors. Second, on cyclical aspect, we do see that um, there's some recent stabilization in cyclical uh, factors, uh, including uh, PPI and PMI. If this momentum continues uh, into the next year, that will provide uh, a good uh, cyclical support to the market the earnings. Number three, uh, we do see that there are some concerns about legacy issues about property and local government fund financing, etc. We do believe the government has the ammunition as well as the policies, uh, measures to stabilize this situation. If this can be communicated uh, clearly, to the investors, that will also stabilize uh, investor sentiment and uh, as well as the market uh, performance. And finally, we do see the potentials from market-oriented reforms, whether it's in the form of SOE reforms or the stock market structure reforms uh, that will uh, benefit the investors, uh, reducing the risk premium as well as uh, providing uh, alternative yield and value investment opportunity to investors. I think geopolitics is certainly a, a big issue because it's a big election year in the region as well as in the US. So uh, there's something we need to stay alert about and uh, uh, respond to the changes and hedge the risks uh, along the way. Um, second uh, is that the policy framework related to containing uh, legacy issues and property markets and, and uh, local government financing. This has not been communicated clearly to the investors. We see risk as well as opportunity in this aspect. <music>